Hey guys, welcome to Kalita Vlogs, and welcome to 5.4 Siege of Ogremar. Um, today I'm going to do a very quick video about how to get the Crazy for Cats achievement, which is up on the screen right now, um, which awards you the achievement and the title, uh, the Crazy Cat Lady or Man. And you can see here, I have it. Um, so there are 25 possible pets. Um, you only need, you need 20 of them. I have 21, um, and hoping to get. 22 in the next week that I can figure out how to get the uh, Celestial Tournament going. That's been a challenge. Um, anyway, so, how to get these. Uh, most of them are vendors, a few of them are from battles, and some you're going to have to do a little bit of grinding and or waiting. So we'll start at the top. The Black Tabby Cat is a world drop from Hillsbrad. has a chance to drop off of any mob in Hillsbrad, so just go there and just start killing stuff. Um, we'll go down this side, then we'll go down this side. The Calico Cat. The Calico Cat you buy in Dalaran from Briani. She's in the pet store, um, right behind the vendor that sells the really expensive mounts in Dalaran. Uh, the Cheetah Cub is a pet battle, which you can get in Northern Barrens. Cornish Rex is one of four that you can get from the Crazy Cat Lady in Elwyn Forest. I've talked about her before in, um, some of my other videos. Um, at least one for sure. Um, it is Alliance only, but um, this one is very, very cheap on the auction house, so I don't think, um, Horde, you'll have any problems getting this. And if you do, roll an Alliance, get enough money, and they're like somewhere between 40 and 50 silver each, so get a few gold on there, and uh, you can buy them no problem, but they'll most likely be on, the auction, on your auction house. Uh, the Feline Familiar. The Feline Familiar comes during Hallow's End, and you need to have... I think it's 150 of the, whatever the token is for that, I think it's the Tricky Treats. Um, you need to have about, I think, 150 of them. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, and you just buy it from a vendor. Um, I think it also has a chance to drop in the, uh, I think it has a very, very small chance to drop, um, in the dungeon, and from the various, um, buckets that you go around and click on throughout Azeroth and whatnot. Uh, where are we here? Next is the Guardian Cub. And the Guardian Cub you can get from the pet store, the online Blizzard pet store. Um, so go into the go into their pet store and there's a bunch that you can get there. Uh, the Night Saber Cub, which is one I don't have. The Night Saber Cub is from a trading card game. I don't know which one, but it'll be in the pet journal if you really care. Um, the Panther Cub you get in a quest. And the quest is... Um, it was the opening quest for... It was ZA, and all you need to do if you haven't done it is fly over um, Northern Stranglethorn, and you'll pick it up, and then you just follow the chain. It's a very, very quick chain. You, have, you get a cub, and you have to kill a bunch of guys, and he attacks, and then you eventually end up getting the pet for helping his mom or something like that. I don't know. It's been a while since I've done that one. Oh no, I think you kill his mom, and then you end up adopting him. Whatever, you guys know what I mean. Um... Or maybe you don't, and I'm just crazy. That's probably more likely. Uh, the Sapphire Cub you get from Jewel Crafting, and these are on the auction house, and they're not very expensive, at least on my server. Uh, the Spectral Cub is another one. Uh, no, I'm sorry. The, spec the Spectral Cub. Where are you? Oh, that was a promotion for um, some tournament in Shanghai. Uh, Zufu Cub of Zuen. Oh, no, sorry, skipped one. Uh, the White Kitten. The White Kitten you get from Timmy. Um, he was a rare that will walk. He's a rare vendor that walks around Stormwind City, and then he'll he'll have one, and then he'll disappear. Um, again, you can find these all over the auction house. Uh, okay, so Zufu Cub of Zuan is a is a pet that you can get by completing the Celestial Tournament, which is on the New Timeless Isle Zone that just came out on Tuesday. Um, all you're gonna do is you need to complete the Celestial Tournament, and by doing the quest, you'll get one Celestial. Coin, I guess they're called, and I think you need three to get the pets. I'm not sure how you get all of the coins as of yet. Um, I know you get one from completing the quest. I'm assuming there's more, there's like a daily or a, a weekly to get it. I'm assuming it would be a daily um, to get it, but just, yeah, do the Celestial Tournament, and then um, once you get, th I think it's three of the coins that you get from that one um, quest guy, uh, you should be able to buy any of the pets, and he's one of them. There's four. One to look like each of the aspects. So, one to look like Zuen, one to look like, um, one's the, 
Temple of the White Tiger, Temple of the Red Crane, Temple of the Jade Serpent, and Temple of the... Uh, the Auk guy whatever you know what i'm talking about um bombay cat you get from the crazy cat lady in elwyn forest cat is from a pet battle and the best there's multiple places you can get it the best place i found was another storm plus it's a little bit higher of a level one uh cinder kitten is from the blizzard pet store uh dark moon cub you get obviously from dark moon fair uh 90 to 90 tickets just like the rest of them uh flux line Flux Fire Feline is another pet battle one. Um, you can get it. The best place to get it is by rolling a gnome, and there's a whole bunch just kind of running around. Um, if you are very, very anti alliance, uh, they do wander around um, Dunmoreau. I would recommend taking off. Um, well, no, because you don't lose you don't lose armor for PvP. But um, I would recommend um, doing it during downtimes because they really only spawn in the uh, gnome starting area in Dunborough, um, but you have a pretty decent chance of them spawning elsewhere. I think my Facebook just popped. That's weird. Um, okay, so that's that one. Uh, the next one is Mr. Bigglesworth. Mr. Bigglesworth we talked about before. He comes with the first rating for leashes. Um, you need to get 12 pets from Molten Core, AQ, Blackwing Lair, and Max. Three from each. Um, yeah, those four. Um, and once you get all of them, you, you get him from the achievement. Uh, Orange Tabby Cat is another one that comes from the Crazy Cat Lady in Ellen Forest. Sand Kitten is a uh, pet battle one. You get in, it, it's wandering all over Tenaris. Siamese you get from Dealer Rashad in Netherstorm, which I've talked about in a previous video. Uh, Snow Cub. Is another pet battle one. That one goes all around Dunmore, so Horde, you'll have no issue getting that one. Um, Spectral Tiger Cub is another trading card game one. And Winter Spring Cub, you get in Winter Spring in um, Everlook, the town, the goblin town in Winter Spring. There's a vendor there and she sells them, and it's like 50 silver or gold or something like that. So not super expensive. So for ones that you need to buy with actual money, you'll need, I don't know, probably five gold total. Um, ones that you have to get off the auction house you're probably gonna need it maybe 20 um if you're a horde but whatever you guys get all the breaks for quests we i think it's only fair alliance gets all the breaks for pets anyway that's my video um i'm hoping to do some more with the timeless isle stuff so i can make start making videos on that in the next couple weeks um and oh proving grounds also came out um I can see I did bronze with my damage one, so I'm gonna start working through that and then I can kind of maybe do a brief walkthrough of how they work. But yeah, that's it. Hope you found that helpful, guys. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.